If it nerfs damage, that would suck. It could nerf fire damage. I don't think I'm... You know what? I don't think I'm going to take it. I don't think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to pass. Let's run over to this other one. Even though that altar was probably closer if we went the other direction. But hey. There is a healing potion there. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lotus here, back with another episode of Nordic Ashes. I was just jumping into this, and I was looking around. So we had an extra mastery point on Helga, and I was looking at this. It looks like uh, you can um, change this. Um, so we could go Owl Mastery. You could go Book of Stars when it creates a 2.5% chance of creating another star, maybe. Air increases its damage by 5% for each summon value this relic has. Or Ace increases its damage by 3% for each penetration value this relic has. Interesting. And then there's the deck has a 10% chance of applying a damage card in addition to the one drawn. Or when a card is thrown, there is a 5% chance of having another card thrown to a random enemy. Be added to tarot deck or this mastery will be added to cards. Interesting. Okay, so let's let's throw that one. Um, like I said, uh, we're not going to run that. We could run Thyra. Level up to two here. Um, bow, dagger, uh, weapon attacks have a 5% chance of throwing a bomb at a random enemy. I mean, we could go... We could... You know what? Let's try Poison Bomb. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Poison Bomb on Expert? That is not going to happen. So, no. No, 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 no. Let's, let's run... Um, it was either Swords or Stormbringer. Let's try and run the Swords again. See if we can get something to happen. Oh, we haven't even gotten to hard yet on this guy. So yeah, we're gonna run swords on hard, and we're just gonna we're just gonna knock this one out. Nice, easy peasy, lemon squeezy run run a ruski here. Um, shouldn't be too bad. Should not be too bad. All right, we'll get you right out the gate. Um, you are attack backwards too, but damage is reduced by fifty percent. Each attack increases the area by plus ten. So let's let's do double sword to start out with, I guess. So then we're swinging all the way around us. Does decrease the damage a little bit, but not the end of the world. What is this one? When paralyzing an enemy, there's a 35% chance that a lightning bolt strike that one lightning bolt strikes other enemies, paralyzing them. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Should not be too too bad. So we'll try and get the the W here and see how that goes. Shouldn't be shouldn't be too terribly bad. So we'll get this going. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, that guy just came, like, right through the altar there. That was a little worrisome. Thought we were going to get hit there for a second. Okay. This should be pretty easy to get. I'm not really too worried about it. It's it's also something that we don't necessarily need because the odds of us paralyzing right now is um, kind of slim, if not none. So, yeah, there's that. But we had 11 points. Let's, let's upgrade this guy. Damage and cooldown, yep, I'll definitely take. Uh, damage in area. Yeah, I'll take that. Projectiles and cooldown. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll increase the area. Cooldown area, sure. Projectiles, yeah, and cooldown. Okay. So we got that. Let's, uh, increase damage, I guess, as well. And you gotta, you gotta always take the, this one. Pushes back enemies and increase the following stats for seven. See, though, it increases it for seven seconds, but this guy is just so good. So, we'll hold off till we get uh, the damage there. Or not the damage, but the uh, stat points. Okay. Okay, that was actually a lot easier now that we got, uh, like, four projectiles swinging. And it's not necessarily four projectiles, it's just, like, how many swings you get. And us getting a movement speed one should be pretty baller. Um, let's run over to this altar. Oh, fire damage? Heck yeah, dude. Only three points. I'll take that. I don't know what the yellow one is. I don't know if we've gotten the yellow one before. So, let's see. Oh, the yellow one's actually closer. Ooh, what is that? 27%. I don't know. We'll have to pick it up two more times to see what it, see what it is. 
I don't I don't think I've gotten it before, so I wanna I wanna see what it is. Um looks like movement speed is back up. We'll run back down here. Um a bait that attracts enemy I mean sure. I mean this doesn't really um I mean sure, why not? Cooldown and damage projectiles and area cooldown and damage cooldown and projectiles i definitely want so definitely want cooldown and projectiles or damage and projectiles one or the other cooldown could be good but i mean i already feel like it's pretty low like we have like a split second there so, i mean like i don't think it'll be the end of the world if we don't get it so grab this that looks like it's area that might be area increased area that's one full red heart container sure okay that might be area we'll see what it is when we uh, pick it up in the next uh next time it pops up okay Here we go. Let's see what it is. Spirit Tonic activates the critical chance obelisk three times. Oh, okay. So we're activating the crit. That's a crit um, obelisk. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. I think swords will be pretty good in, in um, going for expert mode on this. Um, also, Stormbringer is pretty good. Um, but the... Like, the axes were pretty good. The swords, I think, will be pretty good. The, um... The hammer just was not... The hammer was not it, baby. I'm sorry. The hammer just did not do it. Okay. Cool. I mean, we're back up to eight points. Let's grab this guy, since we're taking some damage here. Um... Damage and cooldown. Okay. Um, increase movement speed. Doing this, if you could get low enough cooldown for your swords, you could potentially stand still and get away with it. Maybe. Maybe. I would love to try that. Eh, I mean, you'd have to do a lot of damage because the bosses, the bosses, like, like these wolves would come in and just smoke you, man. They would just smoke you. So you would need to do, like, we're doing 23 damage per. You would need to do, like, I don't know, 50, 60 damage, maybe 100 damage per. Like, you would need to juice that bad boy up. Um, plus five. I mean, uh, I'm gonna go damage, man. You can't say no to damage. I mean, cooldown's good too. Area as well, because it increases like the the size. So I mean, like they're all pretty good. They're all pretty dang good. So I don't know. I don't know. All right. I'm tempted to take some damage here. Yeah, just to increase that bad boy. Okay. Just because, like, I will take some damage if there's a potion on the ground. If not, then I'll try and not to take damage, of course. Okay. Because, like, we need to try and increase our damage, like, tenfold. And with the with this, it'll definitely, it'll definitely do it. It'll definitely increase it, because, like, you get hit five times, that's what? That's what? 15, what? 2, 5, 10. That's 12.5 damage, like, already. Like, that's pretty gnarly. Like, we're already up to 5%. I definitely don't think I would mind getting um, more movement speed, though. Because of that, if we're close, that bad boy will dash right onto us. And I, I don't really want that. I don't really want that. Alright, grab you. Oh, got some of this. Got some of this. Let's see. Grants a blue heart. Sure. Um, one damage. Heck yeah. Five damage of movement speed. Yep. Yeah. Or minus movement speed. Sure. 
Restores a red heart instantly. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we got here? So, our... Let me get this one. Okay. Uh, we could increase damage by tenfold. Okay. Uh, movement speed. I definitely want attack speed. Burn damage could be good, too. Um... I want... Uh, I think I want the... I do want to try and do a boot run. I mean, we did get it to where it moves toward it. Or we can try and do a lightning run. Cooldown. Projectile. I think I'm going to try and go this guy next. Let's grab you. And let's grab you. Damage and cooldown. Damage. Cooldown and area. Let's just juice this bad boy up. I don't care what it is. Um, and then I'll grab burn damage. Okay. This should boost our um, damage and wave clear pretty good. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. 80 damage. Crit. 45? That's not bad. That is not bad at all. I'll take that. Okay, and we got the um, lightning uh, shoulder, whatever it's called. <laughs> Ooh. Move speed plus 15 and also nerfs a random stat. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I mean... If it nerfs damage, that would suck. It could nerf fire damage. I don't think I'm... You know what? I don't think I'm gonna take it. I don't think I'm gonna take it. I think I'm gonna pass. Let's run over to this other one. Even though that altar was probably closer if we went the other direction. But hey. There is a healing potion there. Okay. Ooh. Plus one projectile. Funny enough, we're not really running projectiles. I think this might help us, though, with our... Um, swords, like how many swords we get. Plus five damage. Back prob damage. I'm gonna go this one. Yeah. 56 doesn't seem too bad. 97 crits. Definitely takes a couple of hits to wipe out the, uh, the big stone golems, but I mean, other than that, like, it's not... It's not going too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. There we go. We could go down and get the crit one. I'm not... Yeah, it, it definitely just adds another swing to it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. We got plus five poison damage, too. I don't know how well that actually works with the build that we are running. Because <laughs> we got no poison. And it looks like burn damage isn't really doing anything either. I mean, we are, we just got to burn there. So, I mean, the burn does go off. Poison, definitely not, but, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's see, we have five points. Sure. Uh, oh, there's bounces. I want damage and bounces or cooldown and bounces? I definitely want bounces. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, that's a bummer. Definitely did not get it. Okay. Right, we're level 51, so I don't think we're going to get too many more levels going forward here. Probably up to, like, 70-ish. If we can get to, like, 80 or 90, that would be pretty insane. But, I mean, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how well that's going to work, so we'll see, though. We shall see. The reason why I didn't want to pick that one up to the uh, the movement speed potion, like plus 15 would be huge, but we have this guy that boosts it by 25%. And then we also have the one where we can dump skill points into and get it as well, so I'm not really like, not really too worried about it. We definitely should be hitting these plants though to try and get more, um, more meta progression. Ooh, almost got hit there. You know what, why aren't I getting hit? I have a healing potion down there. Yeah, I got blue stars, but heck, dude. Let's increase that damage, baby. 
109 crits. That's not bad. Definitely want bounces. Definitely want bounces. I mean, that's pretty good, but I want bounces. I'll take bounces in area. Screw it, dude. The epic is only a plus one, though, which is a little bit of a bummer. So I probably should try and reroll to try to get the blue one on the epic. Um, let's get a hit. If we can get hit. Boom. Boom. Oh. I don't know how... What's the cooldown on this? Oh, it's just each time you receive damage. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Damage is increased by a lot. Like, we just increased it by 5%. I guess which isn't actually a lot, but you could probably easily stack this up quite a bit. Alright, let's grab this. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Could take another projectile. Pull down. I think I'm just gonna keep going damage. I think we got enough projectiles, you know? Like, we are spinning enough. Like, we don't really need any more. Like, it's not gonna really help us. Like, it'll just... Yeah, it'll add another swing, but I mean, like... It's not gonna help us. Where, like, if we get more more damage to kill the stuff quicker. Okay. Okay, not bad. Oh, crap. We still got this guy. Five to eight. But we increased the damage from 50 to, like, 88 to 90. That's pretty good. Take you. Roll, roll, bounces, and cooldown. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, our damage will be pretty good there. Like, we could probably kill... Yeah, we're killing pretty much everything in one hit. Or one swipe, I should say. So I'm not really too worried about any of this now. I do want to try and find more meta progression, but it looks like we got the boss here. Oh, crap. We only got 10 gold. Oh, crappers, dude. We only got 10 gold. We only got 10 gold. That is not good. Okay. Grab another 10 gold. Because this stuff's probably going to cost like close to 20. Or 15-ish, 20-ish per um, pickup. See, like we get close. Like he gets right on us and does the, does the smash, dude. Okay, he's dead. Like, like that's, that's tough, man. That's tough. Grab this. Could get swords that spin around me. Burning projectiles. Burning enemies have a 25% chance to throw two fire. Yeah, sure. Yep. Yep. Yeah, baby. All right. Let's see. Enemies paralyzed by this relic will explode in three or more beams when dying. Increase the number of projectiles plus five. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Damage and effect probs. Bounce and effect prob. Sure. I want attack speed and I, I want I want to try and max out attack speed and cooldown. Then we'll go fire or movement speed, one of the two. I don't know yet. Oh yeah, dude. 183 crit. That is wild. Okay. Killed it pretty quick. Dude, that feels so good. Oh, man. Ooh, what is this one? When paralyzing, you also deal zero damage. Oh, plus five burn and plus five poison. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. So I did get hit there. But it didn't really do, like... We still smoked it. Like, it didn't do any damage other than its hit. So, like, we could potentially get to the point where we could stand still. There's no regen or anything, I don't think so. Oh, 
We're gonna get a lot of mini bosses here because we are getting close to the end. So don't have a lot of meta progression. Only got 83. I mean, with a plus 60%, that's still pretty good, but but still, but still. All right, let's see here. Getting more gold's not gonna matter. It's not gonna help us right now. Okay. Too easy, dude. Okay, I forgot that that one just pushes everybody back. Um, let's see. I still want to get this one. Ooh. Let's do that. Um, let's do attack speed. We're all out. I definitely want to throw some points into cooldown if possible. Maybe some more XP before then. That'd be super nice. Super, super nice. Okay. We do have not a lot, but people are dying from fire damage. Because they get the uh, fireballs that splash out. And I always think it's uh, somebody attacking me. But nobody is. Okay. Like, we are killing stuff pretty quick. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, the Phoenix, not not so much, but I mean, we are still doing some pretty good damage. Okay. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Should take some more damage. There we go. Now, if another potion drops, I'll take some more damage. Like, we're, we're doing pretty good right now. Okay. Easy peasy wiping. Wiping that guy out. Um, cooldown could be good. Damage could be good. I think I'm gonna go cooldown on this guy now. I wonder if we could almost get it to where we're swinging all the time. Like, if we can, like, really get the cooldown, like, lowered. That that could be crazy. Because what is it right now? 0.8? 0 0.79? 0 Down to 0 0.73. I mean, we'll, we'll try. Okay. I mean, we're doing pretty good. Here's the boss. Okay. Well, here we go. I don't think we'll have a problem with it. Like, I'm, I'm not really worried about this guy. Like, we should be able to wipe him out fairly quickly. I'll just walk right up, use my alt, and then, uh... Yeah, like... Dude, you got nothing on us, man. Got nothing on us. Like, he's already almost half health. Took a third off from that, it's not too bad. Holy cow. Our ult's gonna be back up by the time he's done with us. Jeez Louise, dude. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, this must be his, like, berserk mode or whatever. Like we've already kind of seen before. I mean, we are on hard mode, so gotta take that into effect as well. Okay, we got hit, not the end of the world. Now at the end of the world, that just increases our damage. And he's dead. Okay, that was super easy. Okay. Okay. Conquer Midgard and Hard with the Axel Door. Okay, I mean, that was that was pretty dang easy. I mean, we, we can try, um... We can try, um, the axes again in the next episode. Um, with him. And we'll do the axes on uh, something else. So, let's see. What did I want to do? I wanted to do... 
I do want to get XP maxed out, but I definitely wanted to do, I believe is like damage, attack speed, movement speed. Ooh, we need four there. Only got nine. Ooh. Any effect pop, burn, damage, rerolls on chests, status duration, inflict to the bosses, ultimate cooldown. Okay, 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 okay. Um, healing altar will appear in every realm. Increases by zero the amount of gold the mine can accumulate. I mean, we're going to do that. We need to get this one down here. Increase obelisk buff for a second. I'll take the healing altar. At the end of the boss wave, 0% of experience on the ground will be auto-collected. I thought it was already auto-collected. Okay. 50. We need 50. Holy smokers, dude. SP attraction, item attraction, trap chance. Seeds are automatically collected. Increase the drop probability from boxes and enemies. Great version of the mini map that shows seeds and chests. Okay, let's grab this one. And that's it. All right. Yo, if y'all enjoyed this, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it, as you guys can join the club before a 1,000. Um, helps me out a lot, and uh, yeah, it'll help you guys uh, not miss a video. Um, yeah, we'll run uh, Axeldor with Stormbringer in the next episode. We did get this, so we're going to run it with Stormbringer. We're going to upgrade this 5% chance, percent chance of coming back. Okay, cool. And um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get an expert win and get our first... Um, person to get a gold noki we'll see though but uh this has been uh, nordic ashes and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out